Hi everybody. Uh, I'm just going to make a short video for how to use the software LVVL uh, to simulate a simple electromechanical system. I already hit the icon, clicked on the icon and I got uh, open. As you see, it's uh, the lab, three dimension scene. The first thing that you click on the equipment, electromechanical, choose the first item mobile workstation and by the mouse you can use it yep move it till it reach the level that you like and then with just one click it turned to gray it means it's active now and you're ready to stack your racks in uh, workstation the second item that you're supposed to use the power supply because i mean everything needs a power supply so that's the power supply Okay, and you need data acquisition system. That's the last item because that is going to be used to measure the voltage and the current. Well, uh, let's say that you have a resistive load. So you need the resistive load. That's the resistive load. You put it in the top here. And now, I mean, uh, you want to measure the voltage and the current. Before you say you are going to measure the voltage or the current, let's just connect the circuit, uh, connect the voltage to the load and uh, uh, to, to the measurement tools. How you do that? First, you make sure that everything is off. Everything is off. The oil power is off. Okay and you connect from the 24 voltage ac to the data acquisition interface that is the first step why because i mean the the interface data acquisition interface will never work without being supplied by the 24 voltage so that's i mean not to forget just put it the first thing then the resistor. I will just make it bigger, drag it here, closer to us. The resistor consists of three groups. The first step you connect, click, and connect the top node. And click and drag the wire, connect the bottom node. So now we have resistor. But the value, you don't know. The value of the resistance is determined by switching on and off these switches in a pattern. There is a chart that is going to be in the lab and also I post it in the folio. And for an example, I'm going to choose 100 ohm for this resistance. According to the chart, I'm going to switch on the first one and the last one. But the middle one now will leave it off second group i'm going to switch all of them last group i will leave them off in this pattern the equivalent resistance is equal to 100 ohm so you are done with the resistance okay uh, now you want to do you want to connect the power supply to the resistance let me magnify it a little bit Take it up, yeah, so you can see the power supply. Yeah. Here is the power supply. I'm choosing the one in the middle because, as you know, the one in the middle, it's AC voltage and variable from 0 to 1 to 1. You can take any point, 4, 5, 6, any, any of those, any one of these points, and the neutral. I'll choose the top one, 4 and I will connect it to the top node of the resistor. So now I connect the supply to the resistor. And I am going to connect the neutral to any of the bottom node, Hit this one, because I mean the three nodes on the bottom of the resistor, it's one node. Now I connect and uh, if you do the power, if you, 
this one you have to switch it on all the time supplying the the data acquisition card it doesn't match this one is the most important thing it tends the power to the all boxes here it tends the power for the dc and ec and now i'll turn it but what you observe the meter didn't uh, move why because i mean that's i mean the way you are going to that's the power supply you got to change the that's ac that's dc i'm using ac so you got to uh Oh, that's semi connected to four all right return it back to four yeah that's where you are connected between four and n here so that's right i close this one i go to the second one okay this one for the voltage the magnitude of the voltage it's at minimum at zero yeah there are two ways to increase the voltage you just click on the maximum one by one but you do that if you increase it a little bit you see one percent ten percent eleven twelve so on. but you can put the mouse on this red dot and move it quickly to the place when you get closer you can use you can use your clicking method to increase it one by one but i think that's fine 71 let's make it 75 percent three four five okay you are done and here you go the meter so i am sure now that the voltage going through the load okay but I want to measure it using the data acquisition interface so what should you do the first thing you should do you break the connection what does it mean break the connection I mean the supply going to the load you break it by delete this wire this wire and instead of going to the resistance directly you go here to the current meter you went from the power supply to the current meter and then you come from the current meter to the load in this way you connect it in series you connect in series all right that's the current what about the voltage i uh, remember something you know what this noise is happening because the power is on you got to turn it off why it's not right to connect while the power is on i did a mistake the power should be off that's why the computer warned me i connected the ammeter in series as you see now as, but now you want to connect the voltmeter in parallel it's easy these are the two terminals of the load so you go to the voltage but you know this wire is hiding so you just can click and move it yeah yeah now this is one of the voltmeter you click and go on the top any here or here that's fine it's crowded somewhere here and the neutral to the bottom here remember uh, that it's connected to the neutral of the power supply the bottom node is connected to the neutral of power supply so your complete circuit now now you can turn it on okay and you want to see the data you want to see the reading you go to the instruments electromechanical Scroscope, no, no, you want metering. Here you go, but didn't show anything here. Well, you got few continuous refreshment. Here you go, you got 92 voltage. What about the meter? Well, let's click the meter here. Okay, here you go. I clicked on I1, it's 0.921 a meter. Of course, I mean, it's, I mean, you can. You can do many games what happened if you increase the voltage what happened to if you change the, the resistance for example i mean if i if i change the magnitude what do you expect if i increase okay see the voltage is increasing and the current is increasing and you can do many things okay i'm not going to give you a break that's enough it's just i mean something that it make you think about it for the next class and